Good morning. My name is Ben Killinger, and we are so glad that you are here worshiping together. A special word of thanks to all the Sunday School ministry team, youth, and many others who helped make this worship so meaningful. And to you for being here to support these special children as we share the message of the Christmas story. Also, one other thing is we got these card things in your little booth that's in front of you. Um, it's for online giving. You just scan it with your phone and you can give away. It would mean a lot. Thank you. Uh, let us watch a video for welcoming of our um, seminary intern. And all right. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. My name is Dan Shimon, and I'm going to be your upcoming intern at Trinity Lutheran in Spooner. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait to, uh, to, spend, uh, to spend a year with you all in growing in ministry and just having fun along the way. So I'd like to introduce to you my wife, Suzanne. Come on over, honey. Hello. <laughs> She is a, a nurse practitioner, and we will be celebrating our 10th year of marriage coming up in June of this year. So, um, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, just thank you for having my husband. Um, I think it'll be a great experience for him. And I okay. All right. Thanks, son. Uh, and we also have uh, I have four stepchildren. Um, all in their 20s. So I have, I have four grown children, and, uh, and you may, you'll may you get to meet them along the way as well. Uh, so we live uh, east of New Richmond on a hobby farm. So we have, uh, we have horses, we have dogs, cats. Uh, it's just a bunch of, of general craziness. But we, we love um, being outdoors and, and the outdoor life. You know, even if we get uh, a foot and a half of snow like we just had this week, uh, it's, it's, it's still fun. And, uh, uh, as far as me, I love to hunt fish. Um, uh, I love, uh, sports. I'm, I'm a Minnesota sports fan. I know that's a bit of a stickler with, uh, with some of you folks, but hopefully we can, hopefully we can get through that little piece. But I do love, um, baseball, football, hockey are my, are my top three. And, um, other hobbies I enjoy, I have a, a, an old Pontiac, a 1965 Pontiac that I enjoy working on as well. And uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll get it up to Spooner uh, later this summer. But I, I enjoy, uh, you know, tinkering with, with all things mechanical as well. And uh, a little bit about... Um, you know what I'm hoping to what I'm hoping to do, or what my uh, goals might be for for this upcoming year. I'm just I'm really looking forward to uh, just kind of um, getting involved in a church community and just sinking my teeth in and um, and seeing what the Holy Spirit does. I know there's so many wonderful opportunities that that your church has. Uh, you guys are um, are a very vibrant congregation. Lots of different ministries. And I'm really looking forward to, to plugging myself in. Uh, so with that, I want to wish you all a wonderful Merry Christmas as we celebrate the birth of our, our Lord Jesus Christ. And um, God bless each of you, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the new year. Peace. Let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship as we stand and sing our gathering hymn, O Come, All Ye Faithful. Thank you.
Um, 2 Thessalonians 3, 6 reads, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord will be with you. Isaiah 9, 6 reads, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Let us pray. Lord, as we gather for worship, illumine in our hearts the gift of your peace, just as you gave Mary and Joseph a clear understanding. Enlighten in us a similar understanding so we may reflect your love, goodness, and peace in our world. In Jesus' name, amen. Please rise as you are able. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the first chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Dugian town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. 
And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. This is the gospel of the Lord. The assembly may be seated as we welcome forward our Trinity Lutheran Church Sunday School Christmas program. Presenting Trinity Lutheran's Adaption of a Charlie Brown Christmas. Starring Luke and Morgan as Charlie Brown, Jackson as Linus, Emery as Lucy, Teddy as Snoopy the dog, Grace as Sally, Lucas as a friend of the gang, Zoe as another friend of the gang, and Peggy Jean. A Charlie Brown Christmas is the story of a boy named Charlie Brown and his joy at finding the true meaning of Christmas. It was finally Christmas time, the best time of the year. The town was all dressed up in, with fluffy decorations, kids skating on the frozen pond as fluffy white snowflakes twirled down from the sky. Everyone was happy, everyone except for Charlie Brown. must be something wrong with me, Linus. I just don't understand Christmas, I guess. I like uh, getting presents and, and Christmas cards and decorate the trees, but I'm still not happy. Nobody sent me a Christmas card today. I know nobody likes me. Why do you have to have Christmas, a holiday season, and if you emphasize it? Why, well, thank you for the Christmas card you sent me, Peggy Jean. I didn't send you a Christmas card, Charlie Brown. Don't you know sarcasm when you hear it? I never eat December snowflakes. I always wait until January. tells Lucy he is not happy and he and Lucy tells them that he needs to get involved. 
like a real Christmas project. Hey, Charlie Brown, why don't you be the director of our Christmas play? Me? You want me to be the director of the Christmas play? Sure, Charlie Brown. We need a director. You need involvement. We've got shepherds, animals, musicians, everyone you need. I don't know anything about directing a Christmas play. I'll be there to help you. Meet me in the auditorium. I've been looking for you, big brother. Will you please write a letter to Santa Claus for me? No, I don't have much time. I'm supposed to go to the school auditorium and direct a Christmas play. You write and I'll tell you what I want you to say. Okay, shoot. Dear Santa Claus, how have you been? Did you have a nice summer? How's your wife? I've been extra good this year, so I have a long list of presents that I want. Oh, brother. Please note the size and color of each item and send as many as possible. If it seems too complicated, make it easy on yourself. Just send money. How about tens and twenties? Tens and twenties? Oh, even my baby sister. Lucy is trying to get everyone ready and in place for the, rehearsing the play. Lucy quiets everyone and says to the director, Charlie Brown is almost there. What? Charlie Brown? We're doomed. This will be the worst Christmas play ever. As Charlie Brown walks in, everybody claps. Well, it's real good seeing you all here. As you know, we're going to put on the Christmas play, and we don't have much time, so I'll get right to it. My directions will be simple. If I point to the right, it means focus, attention, stage right. If I make a revolving motion with my hand, it means hurry up. If I spread my hands apart, it means slow down. It's the spirit of the actors that count the interest they show in their director. Am I right? I said, am I right? And Charlie Brown yells to stop the music and tells Lucy to pass out costumes and scripts. I'm the innkeeper's wife, you're the innkeeper, you're the shepherd. Snoopy, you will be all the animals in the play. Can you be a sheep? How about a cow? How about a penguin? You're not even a good penguin. No, no, no. Listen, all of you, you've got to take direction. You've got to have discipline. You've got to have respect for your director. I had to slug you. I can't memorize these lines. This is ridiculous. Why should I be put through such agony? Give me one good reason I should memorize this. I'll give you five good reasons. One, two, three, four, five. Those are five good reasons. And get rid of that quilt. What's a Christmas shepherd going to look like holding a quilt like that? Well, this is one Christmas shepherd who's going to keep his trusty quilt with him. Ready, Mr. Director? Take over. All right. Quiet. Places, everybody. Cut, cut. No, no, no. Sally, come here. What do you want her for? She's going to be your wife. Good grief. Isn't he the cutest thing? 
At this point, nothing is going very well for Charlie Brown. He just cannot find the proper mood. He decides he wants a Christmas tree. Lucy tells him to get a Christmas tree while she takes over the play rehearsal. Get the biggest aluminum tree you can find, Charlie Brown. Maybe paint it pink, says Lucy. Do something right, right for, for a change, change Charlie, Charlie Brown. Brown. So Charlie Brown chooses a little green Christmas tree, but it seems to need a home. He will decorate it and it will be just right for the play. He picks it up and carries it back to the auditorium. Here comes Charlie Brown with his tree. supposed to get a good tree? What a tree. I guess you were right, Linus. I shouldn't have picked this little tree. I mess up everything. I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Sure, Charlie Brown. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Lights, please. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings, before I, before I bring you great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, highest and, and on earth peace and good will toward men. men. But the 
It's not bad at all, really. Maybe it just needs a little love. going on here Merry Christmas Charlie Brown We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year Good tidings we bring you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. season of watching and waiting, let us pray for all the people and places that yearn for God's presence. Nature and God, you give us life and care for our every need. Use the church's gifts and ministries for your service, bringing your word to all who seek your transformation. Grace and Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, you proclaim your love and mercy. Show your loving kindness to your teen parents and those who are pregnant. Comfort any struggling with interferity and those who await test results in your treatment, are in treatment and hospital care, and others in need, especially Melba, Chris, Linda, Tom, Kurt, Paige, Ray, and Green Jackson, and those who we name out loud or silently in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, amen. Gracious God, you fill the hungry with good things. Bless the feeding ministries of the congregation and community. Guide us to share your bounty with those who are hungry or live in poverty. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the assembly and those who gather together in worship. Receive our spirits, renew our relationships, and rekind our faith. We lift before you some members of the Trinity family, including Mark and Cindy Fagerstorm, Condi Sanquist, Ron and Christy Dallin, Dan, Amanda Connor, Piper, and Aspen Schoenlander. Lord, in your mercy. God of new life, you come along in the places that we least expect. Receive these prayers and those of our hearts. In your name of Jesus, amen. Let us offer our gifts to God.
We hear these sacred and holy words as they come to us in our Lord's Supper. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took the bread, gave thanks, and broke it, giving it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, he gave thanks, and he gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Friends, as faithful response to this gift of body and blood, let us join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Friends, these are the gifts of God for the people of God. Let us come and receive. The congregation may be seated. We are going to be having two communion stations that our high school youth are serving. There is a gluten-free if you request that for your server, and this is also a divided chalice. The white is grape juice, the red is wine. There you go. And we also welcome the children to come forward in the middle while the parents and grandparents are receiving communion, if they're too young yet to receive the sacrament, you're welcome to come and have a special blessing with myself in the middle. And if you wish to receive a special blessing, just also join us in the center. body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Amen. Thank you for being here this morning to celebrate with our children as they tell the story of our Savior's birth. Thank you for, to, the, to all the coordinators for today's fun Christmas program. And thank you to all the parents for helping bring your children to rehearsals so we can enjoy today's Charlie Brown Christmas. And to all the high school youth for leading worship. If you're looking for a church home this Christmas, there are a few special worship offerings. Please see the bulletin for information. At this time, I'd like to welcome forward our Council President Steve Clay and Council Vice President Pat Rejo. Well, one thing I can say is our intern is right. We might butt heads a little bit when it comes to talking about Minnesota and Wisconsin athletics. How about those Badger women? Volleyball national champs. Go Badgers. We won't talk about Minnesota since I think the Badgers beat them three times this year in volleyball. But I won't say anything about that. Uh, we do want to talk to you a little bit about our... Um, 
Christmas Eve service. Uh, Pat and I would tell you uh, to ask you a couple of questions, but we're thinking about adding a 6 p.m. service to Christmas Eve. Pat? Um, we're going to kind of do this the old-fashioned way, and in order to alleviate the four, uh, overcrowding at the 4 p.m., um, we are discussing having a 6 p.m. So if any of you would think that you would attend the 6 p.m. service, would you raise your hands? Anybody? We got, we've got a few, so okay, good. How about um, who intends to go to the 4 p.m. service? 4 p.m.? Well, we got a few there, and 2 o'clock. Okay, so it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of split evenly, so that, that would be good. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention in your bulletin, there is that uh, an envelope, and then there's a sheet explaining some of our ministry highlights, mission highlights, during the month of December. And with all of the horrible... Uh, tornadoes and storms that have been happening, we are um, asking you to prayerfully consider giving towards Lutheran Disaster Response. They are one of the first groups or organizations that are on the ground when things like this happen, and they're one of the very last to leave. I believe when, I think it was like 20 years ago, Grand Forks, North Dakota had flooding. We actually had people from Trinity that went there to help with that. It was 10 years before the final um, group for Lutheran disaster response left. They made sure that every last home had been restored before they left. So it, it is a, phen a phenomenal um, organization for helping those that are in need. Anything else? I think we're good. Okay, thank you. The God of hope fills us with all joy and peace in believing, so we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, for whom we wait. Amen. At this time, we welcome forward the children to come and make a joyful noise. The high schoolers, we ask you to stand around the perimeter. Congregation, we invite you to stand as you are able as we sing our little lungs to the Lord for joy to the world. Come on up and high, school, high schoolers spread out. Kids, you ready? Go in peace, Christ is near.